we've talked about kind of recruitment, recruitment, and um, some people kind of falling out of the game, drifting out and drifting back in. Um, what's your view on the decline in people playing eleven aside football in recent years, especially in comparison to five aside, which has been hugely growing? Because I know this was brought up um, in not this not this year's um, SAL half season AJM, yeah. but the year before, um, which I was actually lucky enough to attend. And um, there were there was a lot about the decline over the past five, ten, even as much as 15, 20 years in terms of people playing in 11 aside. Um, what's your view on it? And why do you think there is a constriction in, to an extent in terms of 11, uh, the 11 aside game? Um, well, first of all, you know, it's interesting you mentioned that because a lot of people... Um, you know, people aren't falling out of love with, love with football. They, they enjoy it. They like it. Um, but things like Power League and goals make it so much easier. You turn up and play with your mates um, for an hour and you go home. Yeah. So, and you can do that on a weeknight and then your Saturdays are there. Um, whereas, you know, if you're kind of joining a football club, if you're a young lad, you're with all these bossy people telling you what to do. You can't, you know you might not necessarily play with your mates um you might have to travel halfway across london you know to get <laughs> to get 10 minutes in a game uh, and then go back um i do kind of think uh you know that playing football with your mates in a power league is probably a attractive alternative to that I also think people have a lot more to do. There's a there's a lot more opportunity, or um, there's there's more of a variety of things you can do with your Saturdays, you know. Um, and I don't think people really want to buy into a club ethic um, like so many. I think amateur teams want you to. It's brilliant. It, people do. But I would say, and, you know, people hang around for a beer and stuff. But, you know, the, the talk of the days when the club was open until 2 a.m. And, yeah. you know, th that's gone. People want to do other things with their Saturday nights. Um, I do. I, I also kind of think as well, um, it's quite interesting if you look at the area people are, if you are kind of a, a club which draws a lot of people from the local area in terms of, you know, let's say, I don't know, Enfield or Barnet, people who've lived there all their lives and so on, you, maybe people take those things for granted. But I, I mean, I think back to when I joined AP um, with my, my, my two best mates from university, we just moved to North London, you know, the, those guys from Watford, I'd kind of grown up in West London, so we didn't know anyone in the area. Um, and we actually joined the club, it sounds a bit sad now, we joined the club to, to make meet people and make friends, you know, to actually wanting to be part of, of the community. And, you know, we all got involved and we, we you know, have made lifelong friends from there. Um, but I don't think as many people really want to do that or need to do that now. We are, I think, quite successful in that we, like I said, in terms of geography and the type of people that we attract, we do get people who are like that kind of, I don't know anyone, I play football, I want to meet like-minded people. But I think a lot of clubs maybe don't necessarily have that if they're not drawing that type of player. Um, it is, you know, 11 aside isn't a decline. Certain things like that, the rolling subs thing, splits uh you know a room in terms of a, a discussion um you know i play in the second 11 at ap and we use it we use it we make yeah, substitutions right. every half hour mm -hmm. so if you are you know going down to merton or wherever you're going you yeah if you can say you're going to play an hour that's fair enough now that's easy if you've got 40 13 14 players who are all of a uh, similar standard mm -hmm. Um, and I know a lot of clubs can't do that, but um, even kind of teams within our club say, oh, rolling subs, terrible idea. But for me, it's had a real effect mm. because maybe the captains don't like it because they're the ones or the managers having to make the substitutions. But the players, 
you know you're not going to be kicking your heels mm. because playing amateur football in the SAL or AFA, you're, give, you're giving up your Saturday. And it's the whole Saturday. Especially if you've got to go from, from, yeah. AP, from AP all the way to, say, Carl Shorten away, for yeah. instance. Yeah. And it's, like, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a distance. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you're kind of looking at it in terms of purely, you know, as a probably an intelligent, rational person would do, okay, I can drive to the Power League, which is, you know, and play an hour mm. and then go home, you know, I'm do, doing that on my uh, Saturday morning, they've got Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, right, I can do that. Yeah. Or I can go halfway across London, uh, possibly get 10 minutes and then come back in a bad mood because I've lost a competitive game, didn't yeah. play very often, got blamed for the winning goal at yeah. the oppo. Uh, and, you know, unless you kind of have, you buy into, if you like, the amateur football ethos which so many people do but a lot of people don't it, it, it's a no-brainer you, mm. you're gonna play locally you're gonna play football with your mates because that's one of the other things as well it, a lot of people want to play football with their friends yeah. particularly young lads coming in and yeah. i don't blame them and a lot of people get brought in by friends as well and say i mean with ibis i got brought in i got brought yeah. in by a friend by a friend of mine so it, it, but obviously, I, I, I stuck around. He's, he had to move away. Da, 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 but it's yeah. like people getting brought in by friends is always yeah. still quite an important. I mean, that's interesting. When we first joined AP, I think the three of us played in a... Me, my Simo and Martin, my two uh, housemates at the time, played for the 6th eleven. Um, we were playing old stationers. And we, we won the game. And um, kind of the question afterwards was, uh, you, you probably, you, you know, we can't keep you in the same team. I was like, I don't, I don't care. I don't want to play with these clowns. <laughs> and we, we had like a running bet of yeah. who, who would be the first to reach <laughs> the first team, which was me, of course. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but we were a little bit older joining the club. So we would have joined kind of, you know, mid twenties. Yeah. So we were probably confident in our own confidence. Uh, and also, you know, I said earlier, well, the reason we joined was to meet people. But if you are, you know, a, a young lad from the local area uh, and, you know, you've got a couple of other mates, it, it can be unforgiving and it can be cruel in terms of, you know, if you hear, if you, when you're playing, you don't really notice it. But from the, if you're watching a game, the way players on the pitch talk to each other, <laughs> and it's just water off a duck's back. But if you are a youngster, it, it, it can probably give you a bit of a hammering, to be honest. If you're having someone double your age, you know, chewing you out for making a mistake, why would you do it? Yeah, no, sure. Uh, for me, I think we, we do need to think outside the box a little bit more uh, in terms of attracting players, because there are players out there. Um, and it's not, about compromising our ideals of you're, you're a club member and buying in and you're supporting the club and you're a social, we're a social club uh, as much as a playing club. Uh, it's not about compromising that at all, but it's about um, tweaking things. And one thing I will say that in terms of, of amateur sports clubs, I think there's so much resistance to any change. Mm -hmm change is just bad even wh whether it's a rational change or not because yeah. it's not how it used to be done and I think we need to kind of move with the times a little bit so for instance moving kickoff times is, is there's been a discussion in the SL yeah. which I think is a, a great idea you know if you if you could have a 12 o'clock kickoff or a one o'clock kickoff mm -hmm. brilliant as long as both teams are happy with it then exactly. might as well yeah. um, but a lot of people well it should be played at three o'clock and a such a, but the Premier League, how many games in the Premier League are played at three o'clock on a, you know? That's a good, that's a good way. You've got the 12.45, you've got the 5.30s. Right? Yeah. We haven't got floodlit yeah. flood um, facilities, but... But we can all play at one o'clock in the afternoon, oh, yeah. you know, and then people are done by three o'clock and, you know, can hang around, have a beer. But, you know, as things are with a three o'clock kickoff, if you want to, you know, have a beer or a meal after the game, you're not leaving the club until half six, seven. Yeah. Um, which is a problem for a lot of people, you know. So I, I think we, we kind of, as an amateur football community, need to be a little bit more dynamic in the way we, we think about things and that, not be afraid to change. 